In this video, I will show you how you can limit or highlight your analysis by using the maps and specifically the map of Will Taylor of all the kingdoms. So at the top, I can click on the sub button to go directly to the Will Taylor list, or I click here on the main button of the maps, and from the graphical presentation of the maps, I go through them, and here is the one of Will Taylor of all the family groups. So you will see that all the kingdoms are represented. So here are the minerals. So actually let's start with the imponderable, the minerals, the viruses, the monera, nozodes, plants, fungi and animals. Now you have seen already here when I hold my mouse over the imponderable, there comes a little graph icon, an analysis icon. It means there is no sublevel, there is not a next uh, map, and you will highlight or limit your analysis when I click on it, on this group, according to what is selected here at the top. So if I move here over the minerals, there is a pointer, a hand pointer, which indicates that there is a next map. So here, for example, let's go to the plants. You see there is a next level. So, for example, here the rosettes is a hand indicator, and when I click on it, I go to the next level, and so forth. So, for example, when I move my mouse here over these families, so this one, you see, there's a Wikipedia icon. This one has a graph icon, and this one has a hand indicator. So, this hand indicator indicates that there will be a next map available, this graph means that you will highlight or limit your analysis on this family level because there is, it's the last level and there's not a, a next uh, map available. And when it's a Wikipedia icon, it means that there is currently not any known remedy homeopathically of this group and it will do a Wikipedia search. So let's say I want to use all the row seats. So all these uh, sub-levels uh, together. I can do it here to, by clicking here, or I could have also done it here from the previous level. So here, when I want to select a certain main level, then I can right mouse click on it, and from the menu select, highlight this family in the analysis, or limit the analysis to this family. So let me do here, limit, your analysis is limited to all the row seats. Okay, let me show you some more. I delete this level. I right mouse click on it and say delete. Yes. With command backspace on Mac or control backspace on Windows, I open again my last opened map. So let's say here I want two family levels. So I want to highlight or limit my analysis not to one, but to two groups. So the asterids and the rosettes. Then I can do that on Mac with command click or on Windows with control click on the items I want, on the family levels I want. Or you can also do the right mouse click and say select more than one family. And you see with the dotted line that the rosettes are now selected. Again, with the right mouse click on the asterids, I say select more than one family. Now, both are selected, and on one of them, I can do right mouse click and say highlight selected families in the analysis or limit the analysis to the selected families. Let me do limit. Then you get the question if you want to show only the common remedies, but in this case, that's not possible because these two groups exclude each other. So we want both groups. So I select here all remedies. Okay, then my analysis is limit, limited to these two main uh, groups. Okay, let me show you some more. On the keyboard, on Mac, I press Command Backspace. And on Windows, I can do Control Backspace. And I open here again the last opened map. Now let's navigate upwards a bit. So I click here on Kingdoms. And let's go here to the Animals. 
So in the animals, again, you can move with your mouse over these several levels. And the chordata, you see, there will be a next level. The echinoderma, not. The arthropoda, again, a next level, and so forth. So here, for example, here the platelmintus, the flatworms. You see there is currently not one homeopathically remedy available from this group, and it will do a Wikipedia search when I click on it. So let's say here the arthropoda, I single click on it, and it goes to the next level. Now if I hold my mouse here over the arthropoda, you see I can do immediately a click and it will limit or highlight my analyzes to this level according to what is selected here at the top. And I can change here to highlight or limit my analyzes to the selected family. But I can also do right mouse click and then say highlight this family or limit this analyzes to this family. But I could also do, for example, several levels. So for example, here the insecta. Okay, this is the submap of the insecta. So I go back one level again. I click here on this back icon. And I have here the arachnida. I click on it. And here is the map of the arachnida. Now let's say I want both. I want and the arachnida and the other family. So let me go back again. And I now right mouse click on the arachnida and say select more than one family. And I could have also done this with the keyboard on Mac with command click and on Windows with control click. So let me do on the keyboard here for the insecta command click or on Windows uh, control click. Now I have both selected. But it remembers this, and I can also navigate away from this map and select from another map uh, one of the family levels. So let's do that. I go up, and let's say I want also, uh, let me do all the chordata. Then I right mouse click on it and say select more than one family. So I have now also selected the chordata. So I have now three levels selected, the Chordata, the, and from the Arthropoda, let me click here on it, I have selected the Arachnida and the Insecta. Now with a right mouse click, I can do here, highlight selected families in the analysis or limit the analysis to the selected family. Let me do limit, and I want all the remedies from all the selected groups I click here on all remedies and my analysis is limited to these three family levels. You see them here. Okay, I think this was it for this tutorial video.